Welcome to Devlin's Domain. Uh, we're, I'm going to start doing things a tad bit different this time. You know, I did, I did a like an unboxing review type deal for uh, Wolf Guy. It was put out by Arrow. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. And uh, and that that was like a blind buy for me. Uh, I haven't really like like I've been unboxing things and like talking about what I knew about. But, you know, like that movie, I didn't know much about it. It kind of felt, didn't feel right to just like put up a video where I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. So, and we, I mean, I kind of fixed it at the end. You know, I shot an ending and had to go redo it because I watched the movie and it was so badass. I had to like tell everybody how badass it was. And, you know, to fix problems like that, especially since like, you know, memorial, we had a Memorial Day sale for like Vinegar Syndrome and... Uh, I got some stuff from Code Red and Raro Video. Like, I stocked up with uh, some cheap stuff. And uh, I got a lot of blind buys. So, what I want to do is kind of restructure how I shoot these videos. Uh, I'm going to unbox and uh, then I'm going to, like, cut. Then I'm going to watch the movie and then give my feedback. Of course, you don't, I'm not going to film myself watching it because it's boring, but, you know, at the end, you know, I'm going to show you what's inside and then, and then I'm going to take a video and uh, uh, tell you my thoughts and opinions if I think it's worth, you know, you people watching it. If you don't haven't seen it and don't know anything about it, just my opinions, you know, obviously. Uh, so, like I said, I got Code Red, I got Vinegar Syndrome, I got, you know, I got stuff from all over the place. Uh, a lot of stuff I'm not really familiar with. Uh, so I'm going to start this one off with a code red title. It's called Don't Go in the Wood. Or, Don't Go in the House. <laughs> There's another Vinegar Syndrome Don't Go in the Woods. This one's Don't Go in the House. Uh, not very familiar with this one at all. Uh, apparently the director hasn't really made that many movies. Maybe like two movies. Uh, Kind of like an obscure guy. This is actually a Scorpion releasing, but I bought it on uh, Ronin as a site. If you're going to buy like Code Red or Scorpion, I would probably suggest Ronin. You can't get them off Amazon usually. Uh, you can get them on Diabolic, but if you're just getting Code Red titles, they're about the same price, and Diabolic charges $5 for shipping. Ronin ships free within the U.S. And uh, there's also Code Red Big Cartel, which I did order... Savage Streets and Nightmare Uncut and it hasn't even shipped yet. Like I've gotten everything I ordered except for Big Cartel. Apparently the guy had some kind of accident or something and so you know it's understandable if there's an issue like that. So I'll give him some time to you know sort that out. But uh yeah so we're gonna start out with Don't Go in the House. Alright so we got Don't Go in the House. You've been warned. Uh, let's take a look at the special features on the back here. HD scan, audio commentary. Got some featurettes on there. Yeah, the uh, Code Red isn't big on the uh, special features on uh, some of these titles. Like I've I've seen some of the titles they put out, and they have like zero extras on there. Uh, you know, there's varying prices, so I'm sure like, they uh, lower the price a little bit for stuff like that. But So, let's take a look inside. Oh, probably not. Oh, there is a reversible cover. How about that? That's a nice disc. Looks like the same artwork up behind it. Don't go in the house. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. That actually, from the, from what sounds like this movie, that doesn't really fit. Because like the, from what I got from the synopsis, as you can see here, hopefully, is that this guy has been like burned as a child by his mother, I believe, and he's kind of just going off over the edge, and he's burning these women. So. That's general idea of the movie. So I'm going to take a take a look at this, and I'm going to come back and let you know my thoughts. 
All right. All right, so I've f just finished uh, Don't Go in the House, and um, I'm quite impressed. It was a really good movie. Uh, I wasn't sure well, what to expect. I've heard good things about it. Uh, it but the weird thing is it's, it was advertised, uh, I think I saw it on Diabolic DVD, it was advertised as a slasher film. This is not a slasher film. This is like a serial killer film, or... or or like a like a character study of of this maniac, pretty much. Uh, he's a guy who, as a child, uh, his mother is like one of those psycho religious, overly oppressive type people, taking her shit out on her kid, and you know burns him as a punishment. You know, she's you know the actress, the way she acted it was just kind of like very like militant, like get in here, you're evil, you must be punished, you know. And, uh, you know, she burns his arms over a hot stove and, you know, leaves some scars and stuff like that. But, uh, but here, pretty much, like, right at the beginning of the movie, you know, he comes home from work and, and finds her dead in the house. He's been living with her. So, and, uh, you know, he's still talking to her after she's dead. And, you know, it's, it's, it reminds me a lot of, like, Psycho and, uh, or, like, Ed Gein, the story of Ed Gein, which inspired Psycho, uh, yeah, it was, but the, there's not that many like on-screen kills in the movie. It's not gory. Uh, you know, it says it's unrated, and this is the uncut extended version. Uh, but yeah, there's nothing really like I, I wouldn't have been able to tell you except for like there's like one kill where I was think maybe they would have cut that out. But oh, that's like the best part of the, one of the best scenes in the movie is like that one kill. Oh, uh, yeah, it's it's weird. It, yeah, it's it's more about you know the guy and the killer and his, just the way his mind is. Like he's got like a a voice, like kind of telling him, manipulating his actions, and it's a woman's voice. Uh, you're not. It doesn't make it quite clear who this woman is, but there's a scene at the end of the movie that kind of. Make some sense of that. Yeah, the, the last scene in the movie kind of brings that together. I mean, I'm not going to spoil it, but... Uh, yeah, so... You know, he's got this female voice in his head. It's really weird. Uh, there's like one scene in the movie where he, he's like... I don't know if, he, if... I've worked retail before. Working in retail sucks. Uh... And those of you who work, have worked retail will know that when you're closed, the worst thing you can do is fucking knock on the door and like, hey, could, can I just get one thing? Fuck off! Like, that's the, like the most douchebaggiest thing you could do. I hate that. Like, who does that? And if you're one of those people that do that, fuck you. Don't do that shit. It's like... What kind of dick are you? We're closed. Go away. Anyways, for some reason, this lady in here opens the doors. We're closed. <laughs> There's a time frame in which you have to get in and out. And once you've missed that, then you're. That's it. Just go away. Quit banging on the door. Anyway, mini rant there. I just. Ah, it irks me. I'm just so glad I don't work retail anymore. Uh. Alright, sorry. Uh, there's like, uh, I noticed, like in the audio, there's like some crackling and popping you can hear. It's not, uh, doesn't really distract from the film. It's not bad, but it's noticeable. So, yeah, it's not the best audio track. Uh, the dubbing is supposedly, yeah, it's, it's dubbed. Uh, the, the voice acting is actually pretty good, uh, compared to some, some things I've seen. Uh... You, I mean, you can obviously tell it's dubbed. Like, it doesn't always sync up with their mouth flaps. Uh, apparently, they use different dialogue in this one than they did in the theatrical version. So, in the longer cut, they have... I guess they changed some things up. Or maybe re-recorded something. Uh, 
but yeah, so yeah, it was pretty good. It's it, it's it's got elements of like a haunted house story, but it's not really that. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, like once I've seen the movie, this cover art and this art kind of make more sense. You know, it makes more sense, but. It's representative and also deceptive of what you actually get, if that makes any sense. But I would say this probably is the better representation of, of the movie in an art form. Uh, yeah, I, I definitely recommend this. Yeah, the, the like the soundtrack's kind of weird. It's like a lot of the scenes, it kind of fits where it's got like this synth, kind of ominous synth music you know, to build the atmosphere, and then all of a sudden it goes to, like, a disco, like, the main theme of the disco song, and then, like, some scene he puts on classic, some classic rock onto his radio while he's, like, getting in bed. Uh, but, yeah, the soundtrack, for the most part, was fitting of the movie. Uh, but, yeah, overall, I would say this is a good film. Just don't go in thinking you're getting a slasher film, because this is not a slasher film at all. Like, there's... Not very many kills, and the, the ones that there are mostly are off screen. So, just so you know. But yeah, don't go in the house. I'll put a link down in the description. Uh, I think they're sold out of Diabolic, so I'll probably link you to Ronin's site. Uh, hopefully, they still have it. Uh, but yeah, be be sure to look around this channel, and I got plenty of videos posted already. I got more coming. Uh, I'm probably gonna use this format going forward and see how that works out uh, yeah it kind of it kind of helps me like actually pay attention to the movie you knowing I have to like come back here and like tell you about it uh, I only looked at my phone twice but uh, <laughs> so, so it's actually a better experience for me to do this this way too so but yeah give me a like and a subscribe and uh, you know check out more of my videos keep in touch see you guys later